Katie McLean discusses her time on Young and Restless, saying, It's hard to talk about that experience. Show for the young and the uneasy. Even though it lasted only a few minutes, everyone will never forget it. It's safe to assume that Kelly, Stitch's sister on The Young and the Restless, was not a fan favorite. Oh, she started off so well, but things went terribly wrong along the road. Many viewers were perplexed by Kelly's sudden transformation from a sympathetic multifaceted character grieving mother having an affair with Billy to a dangerous maniac attacking Phyllis, aligning herself with Victor, and holding her infatuation, Jack, captive while torturing him. Finally, she was spared even a screen death. When they got into bed together, Jack had already convinced her to free him. Kelly had been killed, and the next time we saw him, he was on the run. A once promising character's demise was a train wreck. However, considering that Stitch went on his own kidnapping spree many years later, perhaps the entire family is doomed. A day in a life, of course, Katie McLean, Jennifer, replaced General Hospital's Cynthia Watro's Nina in the role, and she did what she usually does. She gave it her all to the very end. Nonetheless, it's clear that the overall surreal experience left an impression on her. In a podcast for Soap Opera Digest, McLean discussed the shows she's been on and the actors she's worked with, including some of the industry's funniest. Eventually, though, they started talking about her experience on Young and Restless. They were not a very hilarious set, she said of Y and R, I thought it was quite lovely, it's tough to talk about Y and R, that whole thing. Yet rather than explain why, the actress paused to consider what to reveal. By the end of the interview, McLean had decided to tell a story about a friend she had brought to set and how desperately her buddy wanted to see Victor's office. It was the most exciting part of the trip. She continued, I think that Victor's office has resonated for women and businesswomen and men throughout time and space in such a way that it seemed like the pinnacle of authority, location of authority and action, and she was given Victor's chair to use. The actress had no idea that her pal was such a devoted young and restless viewer until she met her. She is a major business person herself, the actress revealed. Massive. She must have had a profoundly altered sense of possibility and potential after watching the soap. Because of this, Vi and R has become one of my favorite shows. I enjoy the show because it inspires people to rise beyond their circumstances. That being said, there it is. Despite the hardships of Kelly's time in Geno City and McLean's reluctance to discuss her own time there, the show will continue to motivate viewers to achieve their goals. If it doesn't have insane characters, that is.